Well, hello, folks. I'm here on Monday morning, the 7th of October. The window air conditioner is out. I woke up this morning and it was frosty. Not frosty, but chilly. Got my favorite sweater on. Cheers. Don't have anything new for you today. I did not go to the record show. I really wanted to, but um, I, frankly, I looked at I looked at my books, and it's like that little bit of money that I made from Bandcamp Friday. The household needs it. You know, I could easily have said, "Well, well, I made some money. Let me celebrate." I have needs, you know, it's not that I, not that I'll never buy another record, but it's like, shit is tight right now. Um, with that in mind, thank you, Barris, for sending me, sharing your photos with me of Boris. It's not because of that, but I watched um, uh, a recent performance by Boris that's online all the way through, and I thought to myself, I've seen them already. I've met them. Um, I really can't afford this right now. I'm not going to go to Boris tomorrow night. Unless I get a free ticket. If I, get, if I get a free ticket, I'll go. In so many ways. And that's just catching my eye enough that I just need to move it. It's just me. Just in a lot of ways, I'm at a point where it's like, I don't want to go watch other people play. If I want, if I go out, I want to play, but I'm not motivated personally to be setting up shows. It's a lot of work. It is. And then we're, it's now fall going into the winter. This is the most active time. Not really, but um, on a local level, I think this is true. On a local level, for musicians, it's the most active time, gig-wise, because of the end of the year. But it's also the most treacherous time because of the cold and weather. I'm not really up for it. Cheers. Thank you for continuing. I'll be darned. Still number three. On Bandcamp. Thank you. I had more sales yesterday, even after Bandcamp. I love it. Thank you. Even got one for RAF. Please. Like I said before, we have are not chasing the press. We're not chasing anything. We made that music. We found each other. It's a, it's an amazing album, the RAF album. It's really better than a lot of records that are out. I listen to the latest independent stuff. I look at the charts, the billboard stuff. I dip into that. So much of that stuff is really horrible for my taste. It's just, it's just awful. And so... I'm just really at, at a point where I can say competently, my music is some of the best out there. I like it better than a lot of stuff that people are spending a lot of money on. <clears throat> I dare say that some of you folks, if you would give me a listen, you might be surprised. It might be the music you've been looking for. I know that for me, it's the music that I've been looking for because no one else is making it. And when I figure out how to do it, I do it. So no, no new records to show you. Someone was asking me about the Jordy Greep solo thing. I've listened to it online. I like it. Curious about that situation as to why the band imploded already, or if that's indeed what happened, if they'll actually come back together. The new stuff is very similar to Black Midi, so what's the deal? 
frankly, when I saw them live, I noticed the bass player's countenance, and I said to myself, the mix here is imbalanced. That guy's not having fun. Something's up. I bet I'm right. So, I listen to all this new stuff. I'm not impressed by Nick Cave's Wild God. That's not what I'm looking for. And his stories, I don't, frankly, I don't care about them. I tried to watch some movies um, yesterday and ended up back on documentaries because the movies are so bleak and dark and the drama and the negativity that seems to be necessary to entertain the average person just pisses me off and I'm not interested. Mainstream culture to me is full of shit. So, a couple records that got played yesterday. I don't speak the language, but I love the music. Tropicalia. Upanis Esurcensis. This is a reissue. Um, it's got, like, they're like... To me, they seem like they're big hits of Tropicalia. Uh, Bat Macumba is on here by um, yeah, excuse me. The people on here, you know the folks. Um, Caetano Veloso. Gil, what's his last name? It's right over there. Gilberto Gil, excuse me. <laughs> This is wonderful. Played the whole thing. Just wonderful. Don't even need to hear, understand the words half the time. You can hear, you can hear the feelings in the voices and also the exuberance of the music. This is wonderful. Tropicalia. The other thing that got played yesterday was this. An anthology of Turkish experimental music, 1961 to 2014. On the Sub Rosa label, another wonderful label that I would collect if I was rich. I'd just, I'd have all their stuff. Um, I didn't read the, the uh, information on here this time around, although I've read it before. A lot of this stuff um, is just really wonderful. And um, it's cool because... You do, I don't hear a frame of reference time-wise between the pieces. This is good stuff. I can't tell if it's old or new. It's really good. And for me, there were no names on here that I knew before. This is really good. It's really good. So I'm going to keep it short here. Oh, well, the other stuff that that has been getting played is I have these boxes of burned CDs. And it kind of came up as I was thinking about the music, um, the record show. It's like I have a lot of burned CDs that are curiosities to me that for the longest time I would want to buy them if I saw them. But as I was listening yesterday, there was like... Yeah, I wouldn't want to pay more than 20 bucks for this, even though it's a collector's item, because it's musically not that interesting to me now. Here's an example. I've been after this album for years, still haven't found it. Sand Rose. French band, if I'm if I got that right. Jean-Pierre Alarsen. I have records by the guitarist since he left the band that are really good. This is in part what I'm looking for, but the female vocals are horrid, in my opinion. The music is great. I don't know why people thought that way of singing was attractive. I think it's god-awful. I really do. But musically, it's really strong. Did I play... Well, that's it. The other, the other thing I played was actually was um, a mix CD. Over the years, I just get, have to do this. I haven't done any collages in a while. I haven't done this in a while. I'll go on Jags of creative stuff, but 
I made, made a mix CD. Mostly what's on here is Harumi Hosono, Espers, and Fortet. But I found some goopy art that I liked and um, used it to make, make a CD cover. So I listened to that. I love Hosono's work. I just do. I really do. So let's see what happens in the news this, this week. I lost another friend, another musical friend. I call him Jay Foltz online, but his name is John Foley, and uh, he was in the band The Firm, who had to change their name to the front when Jimmy Page um, um, and Paul Rogers started their band. Uh, the Omaha Firm was here first, a bunch of lawyers who play music. They settled out of court, and the Omaha band changed their name to The Front. I've played many shows with John Foley uh, in the front, with the front, and um, sharing bills. He was a very good guitar player, and he was a guitar nut. He was a guitar collector and just really into it. We spent several Thanksgivings together, um, he and other band members from the front. It was a bit of a tradition we had for a while. I was really sad to hear that he passed away a few days ago. The roll call to the end, the end credits never stops. We'll all be there eventually. That's why I'll say it again. I said it yesterday, but I really am thankful that when I listen to my music, and I played my new C, my new release D again. Man, it's like I just threw that together and it really hangs together really well. And the last song on the album, T, if you don't listen to anything else, you ought to listen to that. It's beautiful. Now, I'll put it on in the background here, but the fidelity of these, um, of this particular um, microphone that I have, on this, it's not, it's not high, it's not high quality. See, that's why I say this is music, this is a soundtrack for me and for anyone else that needs it. I'm not trying to write pop songs, I'm not trying to write bars for hip-hop making music that I can live with literally you hear that? isn't that nice? reminds me of the other thing that I watched yesterday that I really enjoyed was Rick Beato's latest interview with Rick Rubin and they played his work while they talk about it and sure enough, Rick Rubin has golden ears. Technically, he knows nothing, but he knows what he likes. And so he's a good guide for these people. Uh, listening to the work on the Tom Petty and the Red Hot Chili Peppers, I don't need those records. Don't want them. But I heard the artistry, and I heard what he was able to help them pull out of themselves. Um... The Red Hot Chili Peppers are good musicians, but their music is so sparse, and I don't care for Anthony Kiedis' voice, even though I've forgiven him for being a dick to me when I met him years ago. I held that against him for a long time, and I finally forgave him. We're all human. But Chad and Flea are, and John, they're, they are. They're great musicians. But what they write, you know, when I hear it on the radio, even in the car, I usually switch. And if something's good, if something hits me, see, this is the reality of it. I'm honest. When I hear in the car, they play way too much Led Zeppelin, way too much, um, um, they just, just play too much of this bullshit. And so when Billy Joel comes on the switch, Eagles switch, um, Bon Jovi, I found myself listening to Bon Jovi. How about that? You know, I saw them back on their way up 
opened for the Scorpions. They put on a great show. I would never buy their records. But I find myself listening to those songs on the radio. I don't switch off. How about that? You know what I like. So that's what I have for you this this morning, folks. I have to go to the post office and send off the one RAF that sold this weekend. Please don't stop buying. Um, I'll be real blunt. I need the money. I need the money. And the music is good. Pick up on this, y'all. Like salt and pepper say, pick up on this. Okay. Family, if you see this, you know I love you so very much. Y'all take care.